hello friends welcome to my youtube channel rf design basics so in this video we'll show you how do you calculate the inverse laplace transform if there are repeated poles for example in this example you can see at uh, s equal to minus 2 there are two poles so the poles here are s equal to 0 at which the entire function is infinity then s equal to minus 1 and then s equal to minus 2 repeats because it has a square above this so whenever we have repeated poles what we do is we convert this function or decompose this function in this form we take first pole a by s second pole b by s plus 1 third pole is s equal to minus 2 and fourth pole is also minus 2 so it will be converted like c by s plus 2 square that is one term and another term will be d by just s plus 2 and after that we will compare this and find out a b c d so you can use the comparison method to find out a b c d or using residual method also we can do the same thing so for residual method let us start calculating from the a then b then c and d so for a what we will do is a will be equal to pole is at s equal to 0 so s will be multiplied in this function so it will be s into fs at which point s equal to 0 so if you multiply you will get 10 s square plus 4 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 2 whole square just put 0 in place of s it will be 10 into 0 so 0 then above it is 4 divided by s plus 1 which is 1 and 2 square so 1 into 2 square that is equal to 1 so which gives us a equal to 1 then we'll calculate b for b we have to write s plus 1 into fs when you write s plus 1 into fs we need to calculate this value at s equal to minus 1 so above it will be 10 s square plus 4 below will be s into s plus 2 whole square let's put the value s equal to minus 1 10 into 1 square plus 4 divided by minus 1 into 2 minus 1 is 1 square so b is minus and above it is 14 so minus 14 then we will calculate c c will be equal to s plus 2 square fs you can see c is related with s plus 2 square here so we'll just take s plus 2 square fs at s equal to minus 2 and then replace the value for s equal to minus 2. So below we will get s into s plus 1. Here we are going to calculate at s equal to minus 2. So 10 into minus 2 square is 4 plus 4 divided by minus 2 into minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 into minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 this is 40 plus 4 44 divided by 2 is 22 so you got c value equal to 22 finding d is little bit tricky and for that what we need to do is you need to do the differentiation of this quantity okay so let us take d by ds of s plus 2 square fs differentiation of this at s equal to minus 2 so when we do the differentiation it means that we are taking differentiation of d by ds of this quantity whatever we have so because if you multiply s plus 2 square in fs you get this so differentiation of 10 s square plus 4 divided by s into s plus 1 
which can be further calculated as d by ds of 10 s square plus 4 divided by this is s square plus s so basically all these values we are going to calculate at s equal to minus 2 so let us keep differentiating this so v this is u by v format so v du so v is s square plus s and differentiation of this will be 20 s minus u dv so minus 10 s square plus 4 is the u and differentiation of this will be 2s plus 1 divided by s square plus s whole square which is at s equal to minus 2 we need to calculate so if i put the values over here we will get 13 after the replacing s with minus 2 we'll get value as 13 so d is 13 so we can write the expression as f s equal to as we have written earlier a by s so a is equal to 1 so 1 by s plus b b we have found as minus 14 c is 22 so b is minus 14 divided by s plus 1 plus c c is 22 divided by s plus 2 square and d is 13 divided by s plus 2 so it is decomposed now and we can find out the function ft which is the inverse transform of fs as 1 by s is just u of t minus 14 1 by s plus 1 so e to the power minus t u t then plus here 22 by s plus 2 whole square we have so for that t will be multiplied because you know that 1 by s square is the transform for t so here it will be transformed for t into e to the power minus 2t and 22 is the multiplication then plus 13 e to the power minus 2t everywhere we have to put ut and ut so your final answer is having ut 14 e to the power minus t ut 22 t e to the power minus 2t ut and 13 e to the power minus 2t ut thank you